In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly load a mix preset, use it as a starting point, and make additional mix adjustments by adding effects and bus sends to add depth to your drum sound. If we look at the mixer right now, aside from our additional drums, there's not anything going on. I'm going to go into the preset menu, go into the tune track presets list, and we're going to select the big preset at the top. However, I'm gonna click on the select parts function so we can only load the mixer while leaving the instruments that we've already loaded intact. And now you can see we have a mixer with different levels, effects, and bus sends. Let's take a listen. Also, notice how by adding those envelope changes to our stacks, we're getting rid of a little bit of that ring that might otherwise get out of control with a mix preset like this. Now let's go into the mixer and make some modifications. I'm going to add a bus send on the kick drum. So we're sending the kick in mic to the plate bus. So now let's go back into the mixer and I want to group all of my kick, snare, and tom mics into individual bus channels. And now that I have those bus channels set up, I'm going to take all of my stack kick drums and stack snare drums and route them into these bus channels. And now I can start placing different effects on the kick, snare, and tom bus that will affect all of the related instrument channels. I'm gonna use the EQ84 for a quick low cut. This is a great way just to clean up a little bit of the low end. On the snare drum and on the toms, I'm going to add tape simulator. I'll bring the drive down just a bit on the snare drum, but I will leave it at the default for the toms, so that'll bring out a little bit more of the toms in the mix. And I'm going to increase the speed, which will bring out a little more of the high end. do one more thing with the toms. We'll add the punch exciter. I'm going to turn the compression all the way up just to see if we can bring out the toms a bit more. And now I'm going to add parallel bus sends within our bus channels to create a distortion channel. We'll solo the distortion channel. We won't have it this high in the mix, but for now let's just take a listen. We should be getting kick, snare, and toms. For the distortion bus, I will add a couple of effects to create the distortion sound. We'll use the distortion plugin within Superior Drummer 3. Bring the distortion down a bit, but I'm going to crank up the tone. We can listen to what that does. And then I'm going to layer in another distortion effect. We'll use the valve distortion box. I'm going to turn overdrive on, and we'll increase the drive and turn the bias down to one. We'll bring the fader down, and let's listen to what that sounds like with and without the distortion. <laughs> 